After a video where you hear Trump saying lewd comments about women. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Nesman is here with us in the studio tonight. Chris, you talked to the state GOP party chair, Steve Yates. What did he say about some of the party members pulling back, and, and, and especially Trump's comments in that video? Well, Todd, he didn't directly answer the question about the party members pulling their support, but he simply said that they are a state party focusing on a state level and not the national races. As far as the video goes, Yates says he can't and won't defend Trump's comments, but he's still supporting him. The remarks that were all caught on tape in 2005 are reprehensible and indefensible to the point that Donald Trump himself has not defended them. He has twice before a national audience apologized for them. And he has not asked anyone to defend or condone those remarks. Yates said the state party is still supporting Trump because there, is two, there are much bigger issues at stake. He said Trump's platform and what he's going to do in the future align much closer to the party's values than what Hillary Clinton is proposing. What's at stake on the ballot this election cycle is the direction the country will go, the justices to the Supreme Court that will be appointed, the kinds of economic policies that will either stifle or rejuvenate American economic development, our competitiveness around the world, and the fundamental questions about one of the reasons we have a federal government about how to provide for the common defense and keep America safe. Yates said the party's main focus now, at least the Idaho State Party, is to win back several state legislative positions this November. Reporting in studio, I'm Chris Nesman. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Yates said that they are especially focusing on State House Minority Leader John Rushi's district in Lewiston. Rushi only won his district by a handful of votes in the last election. And believe it or not, we will be voting exactly four weeks from tonight. There is one final debate, Wednesday, October 19th, but people are already voting absentee. Uh, we